Where does that symbol come from? It's never written explicitly in the Bible itself. Is it in the Talmud? Yes. Is there a passage in the Bible about that or no? No. Okay. So you're not really sure exactly where that comes from? No. You got me. Is it nobody knows, <laughs> yeah, huh? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, yeah. Because I know it's called the Star of David. Yeah. Does that have anything to do with David? No, I don't think so. There must be somewhere, I'm, uh, I uh, do not remember exactly what the association was. Okay. You get back to the Masonic fraternity of Freemasonry. Yeah. Their great symbol is G. You, you look at the, the star on the compass, which is a stylized star of David. In fact, they have the entire star of David in many Masonic temples. Why is that? Masonry is a study of the Kabbalah. Albert Pike said in his book, Morals and Dogma, that the, the Kabbalah is the very basis. Without the Kabbalah, we would not have the 33 rituals of the Masonic Lodge. But the God they worship, the great architect, is Moloch. God, star God, called Rimfan or Kiyun. All these were names for Moloch. He took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your God, Remphan, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. And the star of your God, Remphan, but ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch, and Chayun your images, the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves, and Chayun your images, the star of your God, and Chayun your images, the star of your God, and Chayun your images, the star of your God. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. The Bible actually talks about the, the star. And it's most interesting. And we're talking about the star of David here. The, the, well, it's David never had that star, of course. Uh, he said his shield is God. His only shield was God. That was what David says in the Old Testament. So where did they get the star from? Uh, and of course, you, you discover that the star actually is talked about first in the book of Amos in the Old Testament. But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and Kion, your images, the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves. Therefore will I cause you to go into captivity beyond Damascus, saith the Lord, whose name is the God of hosts. And that's when the, the Hebrews, they were called Hebrews at that time, of the people of Israel, betrayed God and went, as the Bible says, whoring after the old gods of Egypt and Babylon. They, they left the true God then and began to worship. And Amos says one of the gods they worshiped was Moloch the great god of fire and his sign was the star so the, the prophet Amos in the Old Testament says and you worship the star of your god Moloch wow Moloch was this beast god and the Hebrews is that you actually uh, the prophet Amos correctly accused the Jews or the Hebrews at that time he said you even sacrificed your children to him by putting them in the fire, burning them to death. Now, the interesting thing is in the New Testament, in the book of Acts 6 and 7, the first Christian martyr Stephen also said the same thing about to the Jews. Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your god Remphan, figures which ye made to worship them. And I will carry you away beyond Babylon. Knowledge isn't free. You have to pay attention 